Hi, Greg Masiolik of Integrated Management Resources. I'm going to start a series of video blogs to talk about how to hire smarter and more effectively using hiring assessments. Good, validated, reliable instruments that help you to get some objective data about the people you want to hire. Let me set the scenario. You love the person you're interviewing. You really want to bring them into your company, but it's a big fat rabbit and all you have is swimming jobs, right? And you say, you know what, I can train you to swim. And I don't care how hard you try, you're never going to teach that rabbit to swim as effectively as a fish. And what you need to do then is, is to not hire that person because it's not fair to that person for you to work for them to work for you and try to do a job they're not suited for. And it's not fair to your team, your company, because you're bringing in somebody who can't do the job. I call it, are you hiring rabbits to swim and fish to run? Because that's what you're doing. What we want to do is to hire rabbits to run and fish to swim because that's what they like to do. They'll work harder at getting better and you're going to be happier and they're going to be happier. So what I want to do over these next few um, weeks and, and into a couple months is to spend three to five minutes talking, you, talking to you how you can hire better, more effectively using hiring assessments. Because there's one thing that you have to understand is that interviewing all by itself and this comes from a study from the Society of Human Resources Management uh, folks, is that it's about 14% effective in hiring the right person. That means you have one in seven chance of hiring the right person. It means you can go out in the main street where your company is located, grab every seventh person, they got a heartbeat, they fog a mirror, they pass the drug test, that's the chance you're taking. So you got an 86% chance of failure, a risk, but what we want to do is get away from that, 14% effective. Then you start adding employer checks, reference checks. We start assessing for cognitive, behaviors, interest. And if we do true job matching, you can reduce that risk from 86% down to 25%. Now, I like those odds a heck of a lot better. And you need to have some good objective data. And here's another key thing, and I'll talk about this in a future uh, video, but the cognitive match to the job, the cognitive match to the job is three times as predictive for success on the job than even past work experience. Because you can have 10 years experience or you can have one year 10 times. So what that cognitive match, do they have the capacity to learn at the rate they have to learn and what they have to do, the, the verbal and the math requirements, that is key more important than even past work experience. So these are some of the things we're going to be exploring over the next few videos. So I hope you check back with me, Greg Masiolik of Integrated Management Resources, and I'll see you next time.